Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your dumbbell full body core 10 minute quick hit workout. Because it's a quick hit, we are gonna do much of a warm up. so go ahead and just start marching your body, rolling those shoulders. Whatever you need to do for these first few seconds to get warm, we wanna keep it to 10 minutes. So we're just gonna get the blood flowing as we go. We're gonna be working with either one or two dumbbells to get the entire body and everything that we do today is going to work the core as well. We will get the entire body with a lot of core in just 10 minutes. We got 40 seconds for each move, 20 seconds of rest. Go ahead and grab just one dumbbell but have that other one close by because we're gonna use it in a minute. Your very first move, we will get right side 40 seconds, left side 40 seconds. You're gonna go a nice deep squat. You're gonna do a rotational press. If that is too much, you take it with two hands. Let's get it done. Ready, here we go. 40 seconds, squat, rotate and press. Squat, rotate and press. So a little pivot on the knees and the hips. Again, if that feels too heavy, you can keep one dumbbell and rotate. We're still rotating to one side. You should feel that core. We got lower body, upper body, and lots of core working the entire time. Making sure as you rotate that you pivot on the knees and the hips as you reach and that core stays nice and tight. Five seconds, four, three, two, one and breathe. We're gonna get the exact same thing the entire time. So full body in just 10 minutes. So a lot of upper and lower together and obviously compound movements that get our heart pumping as well so we can get that cardio. Starting in three, two, one, other side. Sit deep, press and rotate. Again, I like to have this hand out to give me a little bit of balance as I go down because just having the weight on one side is offset. That is making our core work even harder. Again, two hands between the one dumbbell works as well. Or if you have two lighter ones and you wanna keep them moving together to have more weight. Whatever is best for you, remember, be where you are today. It's just 10 minutes. Five seconds to go right here. Three, two, one, relax, catch your breath. We're gonna take it to a kickstand deadlift. So kickstand, just like this. You're just gonna do a hinge, we're gonna do a row at the bottom, and then we're gonna bring it up. So lots of core working. I'm gonna give you an option to take it to one leg for more core, but for now, two dumbbells, kickstand, three, two, one. So we're here, row. So the kickstand is exactly like it sounds. It's just a little extra balance but you're still keeping the work in that front foot. If you really wanna get the balance, little extra core, all the way up. It's challenging, it's a lot of core, especially if you have heavy ones, so you can keep that kickstand right here. Bring it up, and yes, 10 seconds to go. Kickstand or one leg, Core is working either way. Three, two, one, stretch it out. I know, right? Turn it here. Another option would be just to go with one dumbbell. It is up to you, but we're gonna get kickstand, row, all the way up. If you wanna take that row a little wider for some variety, go for it. Here we go, 40 seconds. Kickstand, row, all the way up. Kickstand, row and up, or one leg and up. Core is engaged the entire time. Again, if you want, you can go wide row for a little variety, leg off the ground, or here, you do what's best for you, but keep that core engaged. 10 seconds, there's my balance, here we go. Breathe and up. Last three, two, one, and relax. Little stretch right here. All right, team, so we got right side, left side again. You can take this one dumbbell or two dumbbells. Now we're gonna take it to a lunge. So similar movement pattern, but we're gonna lunge it back. You're gonna curl it up to knee. 
if you can, but let's start with just the lunge. Here we go, 40 seconds. Lunge and curl, or lunge, curl, and knee. You can go here to here. I'm keeping it with one dumbbell, but certainly if you wanna take it for two to really get the most out of this 10 minutes, take it here. Take it lunge and up. Lunge and curl. Modification, just tap it back and bring it up. You can do one or two dumbbells. You can tap it back, you can get low. Whatever is good for you today. We have five seconds. Three, two, one, yes. Same thing, other side. We're halfway through this workout. Heart rate should be up. Two dumbbells or one dumbbell with that curl. It is up to you. We're gonna lunge it back. We're gonna tap it in and curl. If you wanna add that knee for some extra core, go for it. In three, two, one, here we go. Down and up or down all the way up. Slow and controlled on the way down, then lots of power as you come up. If you did two dumbbells before and you got two here, you could even take it hammer curl for variety. Woo! Right and up. More challenging, core engaged, whatever is good for you. 10 seconds, breathe and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna take it to one dumbbell. We're gonna take it to our wood chop classic core move where we get upper and core. Watch me, we're gonna do a little twist to the hip up to the shoulder, then bring that knee across, all on one side. Or extend those arms long, chop, bring it here. Rotational, three, two, one, one side. Chop, and up. If it's best for your back, keep it close to your body. You're pivoting hip, shoulder, knee. If you want more of the challenge, arms and abs, extend it out, chop across, knee. Out, chop across, knee. Feel that core, feel those arms. Yes, 10 seconds right here. After this, we get the other side and then we're out, down on the mat, last two moves. Three, two, one, and breathe. So we're getting shoulders, we're getting arms, we're getting lots of core and obliques. Catch your breath, same thing, other side again. Remember, you can keep it close. So we're getting everything in. Our legs are working with that pivot. Lots of core, lots of arms before we take it down to the mat. In three, two, one, here we go. Twist, up, knee. Balance, right? Twist, up, cross it. Twist, up, cross. Here, down. And up, yes you can. It's just 10 minutes and we are almost done. Breathe, here, here, up. Yes, 10 seconds to go. Controlled, but power. Three, two, one, relax. All right, last two moves. Down onto the mat, let's get it done. We're gonna go two dumbbells, chest press, and bicycle. If you need to modify, you can do chest press and bridge. If you're able, we're gonna bicycle with those legs to get that deep core, tilt your pelvis in, ready. Here we go, slow and controlled. You want a little extra, you can lift into that crunch, but tuck that chin, breathe, you're here. Whatever is best for you, again, that modification, you'll still get that core on the bridge. If you're here, but if you want that extra, take it here. So notice this workout, full body core. We got a lot of things working together. Now we're adding a little more direct core, but you can do it. Breathe in and out. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn it over last. Thing, keeping that heart rate up. One dumbbell. We are gonna pull it through into that plank. So you're gonna reach across your body, pull it through, back to center. Reach across, pull it through. If you're modifying, take it to the knees. 
This is your very last thing. Reach under and across. Ready, here we go. And breathe. Reach and through. Reach and through. Modified, you can be on your knees or one leg up. Reach one leg up, just like that. But making sure we're not sitting back. We're right through here. Reach and pull deep core. Tilt the hips towards the ribs. Everything's pulled in nice and tight. Yes, you can for these last 10. And breathe. Breathe. Three, two, one. Stretch it back. Yes, team. Big stretch right here. Ah. Feel that stretch through those shoulders that just worked hard. Bring it up on all fours. Round through cat cow right here. All the way through. Ah. Yes. Go ahead and roll back onto your feet. Come up halfway, little pedal of those feet. Upper body hang, of course. Don't forget to check out all of my other quick hits. Slowly roll it up. So many 10 minute quick hits. Getting it done in just 10 minutes. Most of them are full body. Some of them are no equipment. Some of them are equipment. Great little add-ons to the end of your workout. And great on days that you are short on time. You can always substitute. As you can tell, we got full body strength, cardio, core all in one workout. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you never miss a beat. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And of course, don't forget to come back for more and spread the body fit love all around. Thank you for being here today. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell full body core. 10 minute quick hit workout. Great job, everybody.